We did it, everybody. We did it. We did it. Welcome to the 12th video in the 12 videos of Vlogmas I was doing for 2023. So we're going to go ahead and look at how I, what books I was in um, last year, what books I'm in next year for like notebooks and journals and stuff. A sneak peek ahead at a fun live stream I hope to add on this weekend with everybody right quick and a quick glimpse into Cody's birthday because for those of you who do not know the week of Christmas is also my husband's birthday so let's go ahead and kick off the final video of vlogmas and rock it Welcome on back everybody. Welcome on back again again. So let's go ahead right into the notebooks because I, I kind of had hopes to dye my hair before Cody and I go out to dinner and celebrate his birthday this evening. So let's go ahead and look into the important things first. Well, notebooks and things first. So 2024, I'm going to slide you over right quick. And you're going to get to see a couple of things that was in my Christmas haul here from Cody, including this. It's a tarot card and crystal holder. So that's going to be really cool to have to help me um, either like during the Cups of Positivity draws, I might use it. Probably going to use it on the daily for my own personal means as well. And then here's the pile of 2023. This, I believe, was my gratitude journal. Yes, this is my gratitude journal. There's a lot of personal stuff in here. And I started this about halfway through the year. Um, I added it into my evening routine first for a quarter, my morning routine for a quarter, and then... I think I actually like it being part of my evening routine, so I think I'm going to leave it there. Also, my book from uh, my notes that I used with, what was this from? Oh, 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 I know what this is from. Um, I had taken Sarah Cannon's, I believe it's Manifest Your Best Life, um, or Manifest Your Best Year course. Uh, it's available through her teachable platform I can link it below um, and I just kept any notes from the class because there's some like personal planning type things for the year that I need to redo that course again before we do our live stream this weekend to give me some key notes on you know beneficial months like notes from this course helped me to solidify certain things about my successful kickstarter i had earlier in 2023 i want to include that as part of 2024 and then my yearly notes ended up going into a daily tarot journal so as you can see we're three journals deep for this year this was my if i needed it just list book and then my business notes, meeting notes for the business, planning notes book, alongside my actual happy planner, which um, these are stickers from uh, QWERTY's successful Kickstarter for the Humane Society for Creatures and Cryptids. Go check it out, go check it out, and of course, check out Cordy's channel. In the past, I had the Stress Management Edition of the Happy Planner, and I'm okay with it. I didn't stick with it for 2024. And then, of course, here's my um, planning pages for, I think, the second half of 2023 with Sarah Cannon's HB90 system, which if you're wondering, does this system for the manifest your best year and HB90 go really well together? Ha <laughs> ha, oh boy, do they. 
I'll do the manifestation one and then finish running through HB90 now that I have um, like the basics for the year outlined a little bit, okay? So that was 2023's. I did not start 2023 with that many. I added on this year. Please stay. <laughs> They're going to fall, aren't they? Yep. Just let them slide, Jenna. Just let them slide. So for 2024, Cody had also gifted me this self-love workbook for women by Megan Lohman, who is a licensed social worker, I believe, is what LCSW means. And I think MSW means master in social work. So this is a self-doubt, um, compassion building journal that I had forgotten I had in my wish list on the Zon. And the Cheesecake Man had gotten this for me as part of my Christmas haul this year. So I plan on just doing maybe not a chapter a day, but maybe a couple pages a day in the morning as part of my morning routine. I'm also adding on or adding back in rather a act an actual physical reading log. I swore I was going to go digital with this in 2023. Yeah, I just basically didn't do any recording of my reading log at all in 2023. I need to do it by hand. So we're going back to by hand so I can actually do it because I I'm going to be, I'm going to admit, I probably have read 50 to 100 books that were not for paying, editing, or coaching clients, if you get my meaning, just for leisure or for professional development. Didn't track it. Didn't track it, and I should have. Bad on me. Um, this journal is, is this an Archer and Olive? Is this an Archer and Olive? This was a present from... K. Park Cat, who's a dear friend of mine. Yes, it's an Archer and Olive. And as you can tell, I'm using it to plan out the Myrna Annals Season 2 with all the children. That's the um, post 300 year time jump that Book 5 of Season 1 is currently setting us up for. This journal, appropriately named Dreams and Schemes, is going to become my business meeting, business plan, tracking journal. I'm actually going to take the time. I have some insertable tabs that are just like peel adhesive tabs. You can use them on anything. Um, left over from being a teacher, I'm going to divide this out into three sections. Have one that is... Um, actual like business meeting business meetings for growing the business versus client business meetings versus um, business planning so it's a little bit better organized than the first one I used this year and then this is a surprise piece de la resistance that I kind of found while helping my mother-in-law move from Hershey, PA, back home to Altoona, PA, over the last couple of weeks. I got this, I think, at a Gabriel Brothers store. Um, and Cody had gifted me a do-it-yourself candle-making kit as also part of my Christmas haul. Not pictured here or anything. But I'm going to use this journal to kind of record my candle-making journey. Because I am very much in love with like intention candles and things of that nature. Also, of course, my replacement gratitude journal. Start each day with a grateful heart. And that'll probably include ending my day with a grateful heart. So to start it, you got to end it, right? This is my daily tarot planner, actually. I found this the same day I found... My candle intention journal, uh, tracking journal rather, uh, from the same store. It's a Votum journal, and I love Votum as a brand. A lot of my journals that are here like these are by Votum, and I love them. Um, this one is like just a daily um, blank predated planner that is going to replace the 
um, mental health tracking that my happy planner kind of had. I'm separating it back out so that way I can also combine it with my tarot draws for the day. So you now see where that's going to start coming in handy. <laughs> so I can use it to put my draws up while I'm journaling on what I got each day. And for those of you who have followed me for a while, you know that I am a fan of these tarot stickers. Yes, I can try to remember to actually go ahead and include the link in the description to those because I use those stickers all the time for my own personal and if I use tarot stuff for plotting, I'm going to use those stickers. Now this is the, I think I got this from Dollar General. It's my gist list. It's very straightforward and I like that it restricts me to where I can't try to be superwoman because I'm not superwoman. I can't do everything in a single day. Egypt was not made in a single day. Therefore, I need to learn to not be that way myself. So my happy planner, as you can see, let your soul and spirit fly. Very appropriate being the soul bard that I is. Um, it is still a classic. Instead of buying a filler ring um, replacement for my stress management one, I went ahead and just bought a whole brand new one because Michael's had it on sale and um, my teaching discount apparently still worked. So with that, it was less than the price it was to get the refill pages just to buy a whole brand new system. So I went ahead and got a whole brand new system and this is, I believe, back to just their vertical layout. I could be wrong. Um, or is this dashboard? One of the two. But I went, I had to separate out my mental health tracking just to give it more room. And then, of course, ba ba da wah, HB 90 2024 four. Very deserving of a reverb and a half there, Sarah. Thank you for all you do for this community. For sure, for sure. As you can tell, I'm waiting on my binder to get here for um, my actual HB90 papers. They're all printed off, hole punched, ready to go, all that jazz. I just got to stick them in there and start using them. So, busy year ahead. I'm actually looking forward to getting back into being more authentic in my morning and my evening routines. And I hope to give you updates on those routinely as part of like writer life, working from home life, balance, that whole taking care of yourself thing I swear you should be doing and I know I'm doing not as good as other people on and getting better about every day. Um, I have a birthday cake at the moment to go finish putting together for the Cheesecake Man. I gotta get rid of the gray before dinner tonight, finish showering and whatnot, and therefore we shall see you later tonight.
Hey, it's from editing vlog, Jenna. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's good to see you. So this is officially the last vlog of Vlogmas and of 2023 for me. We have, I think, three more live streams between now and January 1st. If I don't see you between now and then live or on the replay, and you're watching this a little bit in the future, regardless of when you're hearing this, thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up for you. Thank you for showing up for others. Thank you for cheering me on. Thank you for cheering yourself on. And I cannot wait to continue helping you to do more of the same next year and doing much of the same myself. So here's to another year. Here's to a bright future. And here's to more Soul Care Sundays, more arguing with Myrna, shorts, more live streams for sprints, more of all the epic open doors that we're going to be shown ahead next year. Take care of yourself. You've always been worth it. Happy Vlogmas. Happy New Year. Bye, Soul Writer. Seeing you later.